So, how are we feeling? Your first rest easy ceremony. Good. Everything's set. Great. So I just wanted to run over with you our day of burial procedure. We call it the final sale in the coffin. Uh, don't follow. It's pretty straightforward, really. You just go over all the bits the family said no to when they booked it. Better earn, etc. Tell them you can give a small discount as you've been so moved by their loss. It's the day of the funeral. Is it not a bit in bad taste to try and upsell them? Bad taste would be wasting an opportunity. They want to spend the money. Their loved one was worth it. All they need is a little help, a nudge in the right direction. All right? Yes, boss. Well, as I always say, you can't take it with you. So it's better in our hands, eh? All right, boy. I'll see you later on. All right, Paul. OK, mate. Happy Pride. You know, because we've all got so much to be proud of. Mate, what are you doing drinking out here on your own? You won't understand. You're really saying that to me, somebody that you shared a cell with? I think I'd understand a lot more than most people around here. <sighs> go home to your family. Hold on to them. Don't let them go. Straight here to you. No, he texted me. He said he didn't want to go to Pride anymore. We stayed like this because we thought you'd convince him to change his mind. We've had a row. He never told me that. We thought it was just about that appointment. Maybe he just needs five minutes to calm down. Uh, come in. Hi. Um, listen, I've just seen Paul and... Well, he didn't look too good. He was drinking a bottle of vodka. And you just left him? Well, no, I tried speaking to him, but I thought it'd be best coming from one of you. Well, well, did you see which way he went? No, but can't be far, can it? I shouldn't have argued with him. It's not your fault. You can't just wrap him up in a little bubble. No way, Miss Pride. He was proper looking forward to it. So was I. He was really angry. Well, he's not answering. Why don't we go and look for him up the precinct? Mam's text. She said she'll check the boozers. David said he got a bottle of vodka. Why would he be in the pub? Oh, there's no point us arguing, is there? Come on, we'll find him. We'd better add. Especially after what happened the last time he disappeared. Sorry that we had to rush the eulogies. The creme were way behind schedule. And then, um, well, the next family were... Getting a bit antsy. Yeah, I could hear them chanting, why are we waiting outside during Ave Maria? No rush, obviously, but... Um, have you thought about what you'd like to do with your wife's ashes? Well, she always said she'd like to be scattered around her favourite begonia in our back garden. She said she wanted me to have my morning brew sat out with her, weather permitting. So you're planning to stay in that house for the rest of your life? Oh, I haven't given it much thought. It's just that... I've seen this before. Um, ashes scattered in gardens. Circumstances change. People move. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. We do have some beautiful urns available, which would not only make her more portable, but should you ever move house, you can chat to her wherever you like. And you won't be a slave to the weather. I don't know why. His phone's still switched off. Between CCTV, social media and nosy neighbours, I'm surprised anyone can go missing anymore. Well, he's probably gone into town and got leathered if he's got anything about him. That's what I'd do if I was knocked off with you. I wonder whether I should give Summer a call, cos she's gone to Pride with Ashton and Nina. No need. But you found him? Yeah, he uploaded this an hour ago. I think it's safe to say he's in good hands. He's at Pride. Not anymore, he's not. Wait, this is our stop. Right, here we are, ladies. You're going to love this place. This is my spiritual home. <laughs> <laughs> to the bar. Woo! Come on, love. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Wait. <laughs> hey, my missus loves you, love. 
What are you, babe? She never misses Drag Race. You love it and all. She's obsessed with all the makeup and that. Practices all the different looks on herself. Maybe I can give you some makeup tips. Oh, I wouldn't. I tried. Doesn't end well. Shut up, Kirky. <laughs> I'm just glad our father gays have come. In my lifetime, anyway. Still a long way to go, my darling. Well, I get what she means, though. I mean, we weren't even allowed to get married ten years ago. Yeah, and now it's legal. And in another ten years, it'll be compulsory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's camper. Camp as a picnic basket. Camp as a leather tent. Camp as an handbag full of rainbows. All about the cruise ship, she say. And you know what they say? All the nice boys love a sailor. <laughs> right, come on, seven sambukas. Yeah, well, only six of us. What, you think I'm missing the party? Dream on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be Ready? Cheers! Cheers! Oh. Ooh. Hi, honey. I'm homo. <laughs> this your vicar, is it? Oh, I do love a man who can pull off a beard. Where have you been? Um. Take a while, Gas. You're hauling her. He's been worried about you. We all have. I'm not here with the domestic. Not on today, of all days. Could you not just answer your phone? Oh, will you all stop pecking my head, yeah? I went to Pride like we arranged. We arranged to go together. Yeah. Well, maybe I actually wanted to enjoy myself, didn't I? Oh, that's the kick in the tea bags, isn't it? <laughs> do you mind? <laughs> oh, I do beg, pal. How can you be so selfish? Oh, no way! I don't believe it! <laughs> uh, do you low end gays ever answer your phones? OMG, I've died and gone to heaven. It's the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know it's yours and Billy's favourite show of all time, and we wanted to do something special for you. Addy was meant to be Rose, but he chickened out. Everyone seems to think we've been on a rama for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about this. No, 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 we don't. Well, you don't get it, dear. What I need is to drink and dance and laugh just and go back to the flat. Hey, you're not listening. I know. It's just like before with a the therapist. Look, why don't you go back to the flat, yeah? How are you doing is bringing me down. Glenn, to my darling. Shots, please. Shots, please. Can I have a snake by as well? Right, come on. 